Happy to be back. What's up, people? For those who know me, Okoye Media, uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I will be giving you guys breakdowns on top of breakdowns during this coronavirus. Um, I had some deaths in the family. For those who don't know, who haven't, um, you know, reached out, I appreciate those who have, you know, Sage, Twan, um, um, Chip. It's a lot of you guys, man. Chad, um, Rue. I don't want to. I don't want to forget anybody and disrespect anybody. You know, if I did forget your name, I do appreciate all the condolences, all the shouts out, all the uh, phone calls, everything, man. I appreciate all that. Vach, Law, Foots. You already know. All right. With that said, now that we got that kind of out of the way, um, I've been away due to that, but I'm happy to be back on this particular uh, player. I like Alden Smith, man. I think he had. Uh, a rough run of it, you know, due to alcoholism. Uh, we all suffer with whatever we suffer with or suffer from. Uh, so no judgment here. I'm just happy that he's here. Happy that we're able to, you know, get some football underway. So without further ado, let's let's get it. Uh, you can see here that the 49ers uh, ran a lot of cover one, a lot of robber coverage, a lot of cover one, cover two, because of the fact that Alden Smith creates so much pressure. They didn't need to blitz a lot. You can see here, this is just a standard pass rush, just four-man rush. But they, they're they funneling on the back end. They're funneling everything towards the safety and or that linebacker in the middle, number 57. And that allows for that isolation on the outside. Now, and Smith just comes right inside of it because that tackle, once he once he stepped to, that, to the outside and he planted, that was it. It was over for him. So, as you can see, this one was incomplete. But, you know, that's it. Like, that's how Alden plays, and, and, and that's how uh, Nolan was using him initially. As you guys can see, Alden Smith can pretty much do it all. Um, well, he could. This is an example of him two-gapping and exploding. He shows some patience here. As you can see, RG3 uh, has really nowhere to go at the initial snap, and he can't really uh, throw hot because there's players, uh, both Reed and I think Wilhelm, are in those hot lanes, and all of his running lanes are, are blocked because those guys are two-gapping, holding there contain now Alden sees that they they collapse the pocket and he waits for it once the pocket collapses he's going to explode to the ball and this is what you want to see your guy doing you don't want him to rush if he would have rushed this uh everyone wouldn't have been in a position to maintain contain and that's just discipline sound aggressive football uh, and that's something that Alden does uh with the best of them that was a good coverage stack there here you'll see a good example of his speed he's just going to blow around this corner here so you you really can't you know, you can't forget what he's doing. Those guys on the back end are playing cover three. This is like an exotic look. So they're taking that hot route uh, up front away. And he's he's out in space being ISO. But they're taking that hot route from Desha Deshaun Jackson away. It looks like it's a hot read, though, because they look like they're blitzing. But they're not. So on the back end, there's nothing hot because there's no pressure being shown. And on the front end, it looks hot, but it's not. So what that creates is nowhere for rg3 to go with the ball other than the soft middle of the field but he would have to go right now and he took he took too long you know here here it is this is what he's looking at and as soon as he sees it boom it's over you know there's no chance for him to lift that left foot up and, and turn so he was he was toast from from the onset there uh this is a smooth split this is a transition from speed to power and back and forth they try to chip him when he's out in space with tight ends things like that doesn't work he will kill a tight end, and then he's too athletic in space for any of those big guys, man. You see how he just cuts right inside, right? There was nothing nothing that that, that uh, left tackle could do there. Uh, this is just a pure sp stunt. We might not stunt as much without Marinelli, but as you can see, uh, Nolan does stunt just like any other team in the league. We just don't, you know, hang our hat on it. But that was just a smooth stunt. There was m not much Eli could really do other than get rid of the ball, and, uh, you know, they got nothing on that, so. Again, you can see just right off the screen, he just jumps off the screen over and over again. This they, they isolated him again, nothing but space and opportunity. That means it's that's Alden Smith over there creating those plays. It's not, you know, it's not there's nothing else. Uh, so in space, you know, he, he still crashes down. He's able to come from uh, the right side in space, you know, hold up some of your hot routes while on his way to the ball. So he creates space. And then there's the opportunity there that, that should have been and could have been an interception. Uh, he's playing like a creative player right here, man. This is just ridiculous. It's not fair 
to any of the other guys in the in the league that he can do this, man. He he carries this guy. He disrupts this 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 release on that on the back end. Uh, and once he does that, he just finds the ball. Now Russell Wilson would love to be able to just lob, lob this ball over his head, but he closes so fast there was just nothing he can do. And that was just a good play by itself. But then he forces a fumble when he shouldn't even gotten a sack. The sack was bad enough. He forces a fumble. That's just nasty, man. He forces the fumble and gets to the ball carrier. You see here, he just manhandles that left tackle, number 69, gets inside of him, gets held, and still gets a sack. This is what we mean by, like, manhandling, man. You, you really can't deal with him when he gets a full head of steam. You know, you're not going to deal with him. He has strong hands. He's aggressive, good leverage. He attacks very well. Uh, wasn't very injury prone when he was in the league. Uh, you know, other than the alcoholism, he really didn't struggle with much. And as far as, you know, you, you double teaming him, you know, using power against him, he will kill you. It's not a joke. He will destroy you. And I like how this man plays football, man. Donald Penn, no problem. He doesn't care, man. If you don't have your feet set right, you're dead. If you if you if you get heavy, you're dead. He's gonna go. He's gonna use speed on you. If you're light footed, he's gonna carry you. It doesn't matter what you do. See, this guy's light footed. The right tackle here, he's he's gonna be kind of pussyfooting around right there, and he's just gonna drive him right back to the quarterback. See how he never sits down, right? He just drove him right into the quarterback, then gets up and still makes the play, still gets a sack. I mean, it's fucking crazy. Like guys don't do this on a regular basis. We have a lot of talent up front, which is good for us. Uh, Jalen, you have uh, Demarcus Lawrence. Now we have Poe. We have McCoy. You have Woods. We have we have players, man, up front. I think the Cowboys can be very dangerous up front with the addition of Alden Smith. I th this is a key piece to this defense being good this year. Uh, got him. Look at this. If you reach again, if you if you get heavy, he's going to he's going to explode. He's an agile and he has very quick, educated feet. So if you get heavy, he's going to get right by you. If you if you if you're light footed, he's going to feel it and see it. and He's going to go right through you. He knows he knows. I don't know how it's just an innate ability to kind of understand leverage. And he gets it very quick. See, if he has to use his hands, he has those too, though. So it, it really doesn't matter what you do. He can go around you, through you. He can fight, hand fight you. He can two gap you. He can he can just shoot gaps. It, he can stunt. He doesn't need any help. You know, you, if you give him any help with a stunt, it's like not even fair. Like this isn't even fair. This is almost not fair that he's doing this to grown men on a regular basis, you know, and forcing forcing plays and making plays that he's not even supposed to be in. They're they're designed to take him out of these plays. Look here. He's not even in the screen. You know, this is design, designed to overwhelm him on the outside and try to get inside him. He's going to crash down and just collapse all of that and let his guys, you know, kind of clean that up on the back end. He just collapsed that. It's like, sorry for Robinson, but, you know, he, he collapsed that like it was nothing, man. And that's what he does. Don't try to trap him. So here's a trap block. They tried to come out, come inside him uh, and, and, you know, kind of get him peeking inside and, and catch him and blow him up. Didn't do anything. You know, here, tight ends, it's not even fair. Don't even put a tight end. Sorry for quarrels. Don't put a tight end against him. You know, once again, you know, you, you see how he sets the edge and then makes a play. Setting the edge alone was good enough. That's the problem. Setting the edge would be good enough here. But he sets the edge and makes the play. That is, you know, that's what you want in a top level, top notch uh, defensive end or outside linebacker. Here's a trap again. You cannot trap this man. But, you know, if you set him up, you know, hopefully you catch him not looking. You know, other than that, he, he got you, man. He got you. He's a big dude. He's like 6'5", 280, man. It's no problem getting around you. Uh, and he's very quick on his feet. So when you think you're going to get something solid in front of you, you, it's nothing there. When you when you think it's nothing there, he's coming full steam ahead, man. And uh, he's also able to play in space like this. So this allows us a lot of flexibility because everyone in our back on our front seven is pretty versatile. Every last one of them, except for probably Poe, they can play multiple positions, all of them, all of them. So this is dangerous. And it doesn't force us to come out of our base coverage. If we decide to go 3-4, you can see he's comfortable out there playing nickel and, and rerouting guys. He's even rerouting blockers. Like, he's not supposed to be in this play. Let's look at this again. Uh, and this will be the last play we look at, I think. But look at this. He's not supposed to be in this play. So he's going to widen out in the beginning. And once he widens out, that's supposed to turn it inside to Smith or one of those other guys, McDonald, one of those other guys that are in there. So he widens out and there's a gap in the middle. So, you know, Reed, one of those guys is supposed to come up or could come up and make that play. But he sheds his first guy with no problem. And he sheds this pulling guard so easily that he's still there to make the play. He's still able to make this play uh, after shedding two players. You know what I mean? No problem, man. 
no problem. I love this dude. I hope he's even 80% of what this guy is on film. I'd love it. So welcome to the Cowboys out in Smith. We got a good one.